television has always been part of sports, and when DeLoss was able to help form the Big 12, our television clarity um, began to position itself where we felt like we could, because of our assets, meaning our alumni base, our market, where we could uh, take advantage of it. The University of Texas, because we have that broad-based program in 20 sports, and all the sports compete long, that's a lot of programming. Um, we've gotten to know our friends in television well over the years because we're on a lot. Thanks to you guys who flip the dials, we have great ratings, whatever we play in, and they notice that. If you could have told us that last summer, after all the conference stuff settled down, that we would have not only Fox on our doorstep offering, but a group of investors, an independent group out of New York, um, willing to go get investors to step up and pay and operate a network, and then um, fate had it that ESPN just finished up their Time Warner carriage deal. And after they got that done, all their people said, what's going on down there at Texas with that network talk? I mean, this, it's going to be magic. It's going to be good for Texas. And the neat thing about the network is it's good for kids. Because every youngster that plays at the University of Texas or competes at the University of Texas, their events are going to be where their families can see it, their friends can see it. It's going, to, it's going to make them feel better about themselves, about their sports. And I mean, it's going to help recruiting besides. If you can be in Midland, Texas, and your daughter's playing volleyball at Texas, and you can get all of her games on your TV set, that's a huge thing in recruiting. Everything about them is first class. This will be an HD production. They're going to hire about 70 people. They're going to be in a building off of 38th and a half in Red River, uh, three floors. Uh, they'll put a news operation, editing operations, full studio. They're laying about $4 million worth of cable and fiber on our campus so that they can pull the signal, throw it to that building. Um, they've got uh, plans for academic programming, include everything from commencement on down uh, to start. I think they'll, they'll discover what we have on our campus that is so programmable. Uh, other than sports, it'll be, um, it'll be like a treasure chest to them. They're going to find a nugget every hour. Uh, but they are absolutely, um, to say they're enthusiastic about this is an understatement. They are fired up, and uh, we are going to be the beneficiary of it. Uh, think about this asset for the University of Texas. We can talk about every day what Bill Power's agenda is, what Tom Gilligan's agenda is, what DeLoss's agenda is. Uh, we're going to have our own platform. We got to go to work with the carriers. AT&T, U-verse, go Ray. All right. <laughs> but DirecTV, Dish, uh, Verizon, uh, Time Warner, Comcast, Grande. Uh, again, we're going to have to have them all. But our goal is in August is to have a 7 million household footprint to launch. And uh, after that, we hope to be rocking beyond that. Do you have an 800 number you want to give out to everybody in the audience? If you haven't already done it, go to uh, www.getlonghornnetwork.com. Uh, They're going to ask you for your carrier and your zip code, and that's how that's the data mining that ESPN and their affiliate services are uh, getting to go to those carriers and say, look how many people on your carriage need this station. We, you, it's a must carry. Perfect.